Okay, hey guys, I'm gonna do a little science experiment today that I did in class. Um, you probably won't be able to see my face the whole time, but that's okay. So uh, what you're gonna need if you wanna do this with me is some water, uh, some syrup, and some vegetable oil, as well as a few little small things. So I have a piece of cork, a washer, um, a piece of edamame, <laughs> just a little pee, a dime, and I also have a bottle cap. Um, and we might use a piece of cardboard as well, we'll see. So first thing I'm gonna do is dye the water so that you can see it. We're gonna put in a little bit of blue food coloring, just so that we can see it better. You don't have to dye it, but it's cooler that way if you do. Okay. Then I'm going to put in some syrup. And that's gonna go straight to the bottom, as you can see there. All right, so now we have two different layers. You can see that we have our syrup that sank to the bottom because it's denser than water. And then there's our water. And then the last thing we're gonna do is put in some vegetable oil, which if you know anything about vegetable oil, it's less dense than water, so it's going to float on top, which gives us this really cool effect that we have here. Um, so we have our oil, our water, and our syrup, and those are not gonna to mix together because they're of different densities. Um, so they settle out differently. Okay, um, so now what we're gonna do is take a washer and put that in here. And it of course goes all the way through to the bottom. Um, it even sank through the syrup. I don't know if you can see that very well. So it is very dense. It's more dense than something that would sit on top of syrup. Um, we can try a dime. which also sank through all the layers and went into the syrup. So now what we can try is our little pea here, a little edamame. And that, if you can see, is floating on the oil. It might sink through the water. Yep, there it goes. Okay, so it's just gonna rest on top of the syrup there. So it's in the water, but it's not in the syrup. So it's floating on top of the syrup. Then we're gonna take our, let's do the cork next. And the cork is gonna float on top of everything. Um, it might sink through a little bit of the oil as you can tell there, but it's not gonna go all the way down. And then the last thing is our bottle cap, and that's gonna sit on top of the oil. So yeah, that cork is kinda going through the oil. It's a little bit more dense than oil, but it's not as dense as water. So that's it, and when we're doing the flotation method with glass, this is the same thing that we do. We would take a piece of glass that we also have measured in here. So if we took a piece of um, Pyrex, for example, and maybe it sank through uh, the oil layer and the water layer, and then we put a piece of unknown glass also in the water and it does the same thing, we would know that it has similar properties, if not um, the exact same properties as Pyrex. And this is how we do the flotation method.